there's a dipper. There's a dipper just flown up the river. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Um, so we're off out on a little adventure today to see if we can find the elusive dipper. Um, we're going to a place where I've been before and we've definitely got a very good chance of photographing the dipper. Uh, we're off to Dovedale, which is just off the Ashbourne Road, um, out in, in the Peak District. There's a lovely little river that runs through Dovedale, the River Dove, obviously, and um, it, it's usually got plenty of, of dipper on it. Um, there are other species as well, so uh, when I've been there in the past, we've seen grey wagtail, we've seen, um, we've actually seen a stoat running down the river at one point, which was absolutely incredible. Um, Lots of, lots of different things that you, you potentially can see, but our target species for today is the dipper. Um, we are well into May now, um, approaching June really, and um, so I'm quite hopeful that maybe um, if they've had young, we might be at that time of year when they are fledged, and I might be able to see some feeding with the adults feeding the young on the river. Um, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for. It's very grey, um, it's forecast to be cloudy, but I'm looking at the clouds now and thinking they look a little bit like rain clouds. So we'll have, fingers crossed we won't get any rain and we'll have a good day. So come along for the journey and see what I see. So we've parked in Milldale. Um, there's a little car park just on the other side of Milldale Village. Um, it's not a huge car park, so I think if you're going to use that car park as opposed to the, the car park at Dovedale, then you need to be here early. Um, and then it's just a little short walk down into Milldale where you meet the River Dove and you can walk along the River Dove. So a quick chat with the locals and it would appear that the nesting site for the dipper is at the first big cage. I'm having to keep watching over my shoulder because we've got some runners. <laughs> I'm not going that way, no, I'm going this way. Uh, so there is a, a mountain marathon taking place today. I don't have picked my, my times to come to places. Um, so there are some runners and they're running 26 miles up and down over the Peak District. There was a time when that had really uh, appealed to me, but not so much anymore. So I'm going to just spin the camera around in a moment and you can see the River Dove. It's only a small river, uh, it's really quite shallow, beautifully clear and in pristine condition. So we're just going to walk down slowly following this river and see if we can find and locate some of the dippers. We've been told that they're nesting in a cave halfway down here so um, there's a good chance if we know where the nesting spot is that we should be able to find some. Um, oh, there's some grey wagtail. So I'll flip it around so you can have a see. There's a dipper. There's a dipper just flown up the river. We'll do that again. <laughs> So just filming a quick piece to camera um, and we've just seen our first dipper. Oh, there's a beautiful cat grey wagtail on the rock there. See it? Can you see it? 
on the other side of the bank, follow the bank down. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to see if I can just get some of that for you. So there you have it, we've already got some things that we've filmed, uh, the little grey wagtail, beautiful little bird, um, and as I was filming it, as I said on camera, hope it's come through when I've been filming it on the Z9, and um, we've just seen the, the dipper fly back down again, so it's just a case of keeping relatively quiet, keeping your eyes peeled, um, and keeping a lookout because they can be anywhere along this little river, um, it really is an incredible, incredible little stretch of river. So we've got our first dipper. Uh, he's just preening on a rock. I've hopefully got a couple of uh, photographs for you and I'll try and get some video now. Um, but there are, I'm very aware there are people walking towards us in both directions, so he's gonna fly away very soon. Just walking along then we were just talking about the fact that it, there are a lot of people here and um, the last time I came I came with my dad and we were at five o'clock in the morning and there was not a soul um, and and Jen was saying that maybe that's why we're perhaps not seeing as much but sometimes going to an area where there's lots of people can be a huge advantage to you as a photographer um, because the animals that's, that are there are used to people so they're used to people and as a result you can usually get a little bit closer than you would be able to if it wasn't a place used for people i've just spotted some mandarin ducks through the the gap in the trees so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna have a look at that so we're just walking along the river dove and heard a, a sound that, I, that wasn't familiar at all it was like a, a really kind of aggressive chirping sound um so we kind of stopped looked into the direction and we've just seen um, a eurasian black cap so it was a male eurasian black cap i've got a photograph of a female which if i can find i'll pop up on the the screen for you now um, that i photographed out last time i was here but i couldn't find any of the males and by the time i'd got my camera on it it was off some people walked down so we'll keep looking though uh, i can definitely hear them calling in the trees so we'll see if we can see any more
so we've reached kind of the two hours down river and we've turned around and started to walk back up um, and the amount of traffic on the footpath now has increased quite a lot so as a result of that obviously the amount of things that you see starts to decrease because not everyone's quiet and people's dogs are swimming in the rivers and various other things just as they should be it's a place to come in for everyone to come and enjoy but you kind of have to accept that when you're doing wildlife photography and that's why we get up early or we go to bed late so that we can capture those moments when there's nobody here but we'll carry on got to walk all the way back up to Milldale now and uh, we've been all the way down to Dovedale uh, and fingers crossed we might see something else got here is our dipper sat on the branch minding his own business now the footpath is very busy yeah, so I'm hoping that as I'm recording this people recognise that I'm recording something and stay away and it might just give us a little bit longer to get some photographs What an absolutely delightful little bird this is. The footpath behind is quite busy, lots of people walking, but this bird is actively hunting now. Uh, it's just moved a little bit further down. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Some books on the upper head, it's caught its attention. So I'm going to call that mission accomplished. Uh, I was kind of giving up hope. The footpath had got really busy, loads of people about, and we're walking along, and then I just saw a dipper on a, on a little uh, twig sticking out of the water, beautifully posed, um, just sat there, sat there quite happy with me to get quite close to it. So obviously I know I've got some video, and you've, you've, you've probably seen that already, but oh, what an incredible little bird. Absolutely stunning. So if you come to Milldale and you park up, there is a, a little cottage called Polly's Cottage and they do the most amazing cheese and pickle sandwiches, fresh sausage rolls, lovely coffee, beautiful coffee, so it's definitely worth stopping off and grabbing a bite to eat. Not sponsored, but maybe it could be next time. <laughs> so we've arrived back home and we're just kind of reflecting on the day and it's been an absolutely fantastic day over in Dovedale in Staffordshire. If you've not been before, it's definitely worth uh, a visit. If, it, if you wanted to photograph dippers, it should really be called Dipperdale because there are plenty of dippers there, um, plenty of other wildlife as well, definitely worth a visit. Um, we've seen grey wagtail, we've seen um, various different ducks um, and moorhen, and of course we've seen the dipper. 
so it's been a, a truly fantastic morning i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have if you could click like subscribe it really really helped the channel uh, and until next time ta -ra.